Hello there, and welcome to the video. Uh, today is a day in the life of a college athlete, college student, and I guess a worker on campus as well. But anyways, it's about eight o'clock now, a.m., and I'm just kind of starting my day. I was up much earlier, around like five, and you will see it's probably two of those clips from this morning, just making coffee. I didn't want to be too loud and do the introduction to the video just because the roommates were sleeping and stuff. So. Anyways, with that, I'm just going to take you through a full day. Uh, right now, I am just walking across campus to get my breakfast and stuff. So, I'll flip you around. I'm just out back by the baseball diamond. If you can see that. So, I will take you along uh, today. We have a couple of things planned just from... Uh, I have work at 10 o'clock this morning. And I work till two. I have a class during that time actually, but with it being online, I'm able to just kind of multitask with that. And then also I'll take you to the gym uh, to practice. And then we also do have a IQ meeting or just kind of a team meeting before practice that I will show you guys if I can get some footage from that. But anyways, I guess without further ado, I'll catch up with you a bit more once I'm back in my dorm room. To get off that darkest ground The gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too So I am finally back at my dorm. Hopefully you guys did enjoy some of the sights from around campus. And then also I wanted to address a couple of things that I kind of forgot about with the first video clip. One of those being I usually do not wake up at 5 a.m. I'm not going to lie to you. I usually sleep in a bit longer than that. I am usually up though around like 7 a.m. Uh, on a normal day. But I wanted to get up a bit earlier just because I do have a 6 to 9 page paper that is due tonight that I kind of procrastinated on. But that's just part of college. You have other assignments and stuff, so you tend to put things off until they are the next one in line to be due. And then also I wanted to address that eye injury that I had. Uh, it actually was a week ago today that I actually had the little eye gouge and stuff. But as you can see, the eye looks a ton better, feels a ton better. Unfortunately, I didn't get to train how I wanted to last week because uh, with uh, heavier barbell movements, a lot of the pressure will actually build up in your head. And that's why you'll see occasionally those strong men and power lifters actually start to like bleed from their nose and also blood or burst blood vessels in their eyes is from all that pressure that they have when they're lifting, especially when you hold your breasts in those heavier lifts. But you kind of have to, to have the right abdominal pressure and stuff. But that's another topic for another day. But anyways, with that, uh, I just want to show you quickly what I'm having for breakfast. It's actually two of these sandwiches. One is on wheat for some reason, and one is on white bread. But anyways, all it is is a sausage patty, a cheese slice in the middle, and then a egg too. So nice egg cheese, or sausage egg and cheese sandwich. Uh, two of those actually uh, for breakfast. And as you did see, the dining is just straight pickup and we do use Grubhub to put it in orders then uh, you just go straight to the dining hall and pick up your bag that contains your food and then head straight back out with all the COVID guidelines and stuff. It is that way on campus. And unfortunately that does mean the dining is a bit worse than it was before as we have a lot less options. And then we are also missing the all you can eat options too. But anyways, uh, with that, I also wanted to say it is supposed to rain a lot today. So this afternoon with practice, I will make sure to get some footage, but depending on what happens, uh, I don't know how much I will get in that stuff, but I will figure out one way or another to show you guys a little bit of that because that is an important part of my day. 
But anyways, without further ado, I am going to get into this food and then I'm going to start working on that uh, 69 page paper to make sure I can get it done uh, earlier and then get on to some of my other assignments for the week. But I guess uh, with that said, I will catch up with you either before I head to work or during work. Alrighty, so I thought I would just give you a quick update with how my day is going uh, before I head down to work. I've worked in about eight minutes now. But I just have to head down to the desk and my work is not very exciting on a daily basis. I usually just have some residents ask me questions. If somebody gets locked out, I help them. I do check-ins and stuff. But outside of that, uh, most likely I will be just working on homework. I do have a passive program that I'm doing just for the freshmen to help with class registration and that stuff. But most likely I will be just working on this paper, which I'll show you guys. Uh, this was the one from the morning. I'm about five pages in now, and the requirement is at least six to nine pages. But as the professor said, it may need to be longer depending on uh, how long it takes to actually get through the information. I'm only about halfway on that, so I would say I have another about five pages to go. Unfortunately, with that, and then also, uh, I'm not going to film too much at work just because it is awkward if people come up and ask me questions to film them, if you know what I mean. So I will just uh, show you like my workstation and that stuff and show you my lunch, which I'll have probably in the middle of my desk shift. But without uh, further ado, I guess I will catch up with you guys after work at 2 p.m. And it's currently right about 10 a.m. right now. So see you then. Alrighty, well it's like 11.30 right now and uh, I just wanted to give you a quick update because I still am at the desk working but the weather did take a turn for the worse as you can probably see there. Unfortunately the weather is pretty bad so I don't know what footage I will get from practice but I'll keep you up to date as we go. Alright, uh, really simple lunch today. Chicken breasts, uh, veggies, just assorted steamed vegetables, a baked potato and then these I'm gonna use for condiments just because I had them left over from Chick-fil-A this weekend as we do have Chick-fil-A on the campus and they pair nicely. Alrighty, so I'm just about done with that uh, six to nine page paper and one pro tip that I will give you guys is just make sure to always plug your papers in or emails or any important document that you're sending that has writing through Grammarly, it'll just do corrections whether that's commas grammatical mistakes spelling anything like that and it's completely free to use you can buy a premium version that will actually restructure your sentences and stuff but the free one works perfectly fine alrighty so it's just about two o'clock I did just get off of work I also did finish that nice long paper as I showed you guys and right now I'm just gonna get changed real quick and we are gonna head to the gym. It's about two o'clock. The weather is not looking so promising for this afternoon because I did see lightning and thunder and if that is the case, we will end up getting practice canceled or whatever. But if that does occur, I will insert some film from previous practices just to give you an idea of what we do in the day uh, and kind of give you a full perspective of what a normal day would look for me. This is kind of out of the ordinary to have this bad of weather. But anyways, with that being said, I'm going to get changed real quick, and then I will see you guys next in the gym.
message. Do not try to leave. Do not try to fight. All righty, so that was the gym session. Hopefully by now you saw the full workout too, just like a picture of it from my notebook. But if you didn't, I really apologize and my editing self failed me. But anyways, uh, with that being said, I am back at the dorms now and it's about four o'clock now. But unfortunately, we have no training today for rugby. Uh, not because of the weather, surprisingly, actually, because one of the guys on our team uh, tested positive for COVID. So ultimately, his whole group had to quarantine because we do practice in pods just to keep the number of athletes we have together down so like the tracing so for example this happening ultimately uh that whole pod had to quarantine so we have a total of like 18 guys uh that either had symptoms or had to isolate just because they came in contact with somebody that tested positive but thankfully for me uh nobody that i came in contact with or in my pod has any symptoms or has tested positive so i don't have to quarantine or anything and i should be uh, clear for that but what that means for you guys is no rugby footage well not from today at least I'll check to see if I can figure out how I would get that film but it would have to be transferred from like huddle to my editing software so it might be a little bit of a mess uh, to actually be able to do that but I'll try my best for you guys but anyways with that being said I'm gonna hop in the shower quick and then I'll be back with you and we'll get a post-workout shake in most likely Alrighty, for a post-workout, this is what we're doing. We're making a shake just because I only had two meals today. So I'm probably only at like eight or 900 calories realistically. And my protein is definitely not where it should be for being like five in the afternoon. So real simple, uh, just whey protein of your choice. BPN is a good choice uh, just because they are BSG certified or bad substance certified. So it's good for athletes. And then also just the taste and quality of the protein is definitely there. Pricing is a little bit higher, but if you can get over that, definitely a good choice. Uh, next is skim milk, just nice and easy. Uh, always a go-to for me growing up in Wisconsin, dairy is a must. Uh, you can use your almond milks or whatever else you have, especially if you wanna cut down on some of those calories. That works too. Uh, one of the key essential ones is non-fat Greek yogurt. Uh, huge protein and also great taste all alone by itself. I'm kidding, it tastes god awful by itself. But in the shake, I promise you it will taste just fine. Especially when you add like a natural sweetener like frozen strawberries or any other berry works. Uh, I prefer like a mixed berry, so it's blackberries and raspberries or bananas work too. If you're a weirdo like that and like bananas. And then lastly, uh, creatine, monohydrate. I just buy a generic big bag. Uh, five grams every day is just perfect. One of the most tested supplements. And I would highly recommend if you're gonna take anything to just at least take creatine. So anyways, we're gonna throw this all in the blender, get it up, make a shake and down that and get back on track with our nutrition. Alrighty, so back in the dorm room, it's about an hour later uh, since I had that shake and consumed that. So we are just about to dive into some dinner. Uh, just sweet potato, corn, and chicken. And then if you guys can see, I don't know if you can, but it's 166 protein, 247 carb, and then 63 fat for the day. And uh, ultimately, I forgot to put on my Fitbit, which... <laughs> I'm doing a study with the exercise in performance nutrition lab and ultimately like I'm tracking fitness right now and taking a probiotic or a placebo I don't actually know and then they're uh, taking blood samples and testing all of my uh, stress hormones and then like dopamine and that type of stuff uh, to see my stress levels and see if the end or the probiotic or the capsule they gave me is affecting uh, my stress levels but anyways, with that, uh, after I eat this, I'll probably just go out and get a little bit of a walk-in and just get some extra steps just because I didn't have rugby. So I know I didn't burn near as many calories as I usually would. So I'll just get my activity a little bit in with that. But it is super ugly outside still, just not raining. So I probably won't take you guys along for it. And then I'm just going to chill and do some homework uh, for a couple of hours and I'll catch up 
back with you before the end of the night. Alrighty, so it is probably like 9.45 or so. I've just been knocking out some homework. I did run to Walmart real quick just to grab some plain Greek yogurt. But you guys saw that earlier, uh, as in the Greek yogurt. But anyways, uh, I think that is about going to do it for a day in the life video. Unfortunately, the whole rugby thing got canceled, so you did miss uh, quite a big part of my day. But hopefully I did get some footage in for you guys. And as far as diet, I did have some like random stuff just because the girlfriend had uh, some takeout from a local Mexican restaurant. So I just kind of snacked on her, some of her food. And then also I need to get a little bit more protein in, but I'm either going to just do a protein shake quick or like some Greek yogurt or a protein bar, nothing too special. But if you guys do wanna see a more in-depth diet, I will do a full day of eating where I'll actually go through meals and kind of talk you through them and talk you through macros of them all. And then also for workouts and stuff, I can definitely do videos more in depth there. But I would just like to say uh, thank you for sticking with this video this long if you actually are listening means a ton to me and make sure to comment down below just uh that you made it this far say anything and just comment down below if you have any questions regarding the day i know i kind of jumped all over the place but uh other than that i just need to log my activity for the day and then also log my nutrition and with that then i will hit the hay because i got up quite early just to make sure i got those assignments in but we did so so anyways Without further ado, thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.